Yeah. Good morning, Bruce, and uh, this is Bruce, and welcome to my shop. Um, we're continuing on the uh, shop improvements movements. I've turned the big mill around and uh, and pushed it back by probably about 20, 25 centimetres back that way, uh, and totally turned it around. And um, we're uh, we're pretty tight here. We're just up against the. Um, up against the shelf but normally this is the point where I I normally have the ram and always taking it forward not back so if I ever have to take it back well I'll have to move that shelf a little bit but uh, we we'll worry about that the time comes plenty of room in the back here for all the wiring and all the rest of it um, the air equipment and so forth <coughs> so no worries there um, and uh, we've, um, we can run it up get to the lathe and I've still if I need any extra and occasionally we do I just take this uh, shelf off um, what it's done by uh, being able to move it I've moved it to about uh, 400 mil this way because I moved the lathe 400 mil in that direction as well um, all this come about because we had two lathes here before and when I moved the one lathe out um, to give more access for down the bottom there and so forth so what this will allow me to do is where i'm standing here now underneath the, the crane um i'll um i'll be able to put the horizontal borer in, in this section here and um it all worked out well with the overhead crane as well because that'll service you can see there Pretty, pretty close, um, and that that'll that'll service the, the table here without a problem because uh, when I've got to put big stuff on, I'll just bring the table forward, and uh, and I can lay my uh, put my my bigger vices or or the rotary table that's down underneath here, the big rotary table, <coughs> and the other. Um, other heavy stuff that I don't lift anymore like in here I've got the um, <coughs> um, I've got the dividing heads and another rotary table and, and other gear as well and the big vise here and even the smaller vise now I I just lift them all with this overhead crane it's just so so easy so that'll allow me to be able to service again be able to service this we'll be able to service the um, the overhead, uh, uh, the uh, horizontal borer here, um, it, it gets across almost to the table, uh, to this table, but uh, and gets across to my workbench. You can see here that as well. It gets into the workbench, and plenty of room. Um, and swinging around, um, we've, we've got a bit of clearance here up, up top, as you can see over the electrics. Um, and straight across here to service the lathe as well. So it's a little bit tighter than, than what I, I'd like it to be, but I can move this set, this set of drawers back a little bit further. These are the, um, the drill bits uh, in this one. That's where we to keep all the drills. Um, and the fractional one that's down in there. <coughs> and the, and these, this is mainly tooling and these two. Um, tooling and, uh, and my micrometers, um, boring bars and threading bars. Uh, down here it's all the internal measuring uh, metrology, uh, chuck jaws. Um, this is all also once again uh, internals and depths um, and so forth and so on and so forth. So we've got a bit of room at the back here behind the lathe. Uh, plenty of room for the carousel and I'm, I'm seriously thinking of making a second carousel for all these types of tools like the hammers, files and so forth. I'm, I'm giving that a bit of thought as well. I don't like anything where you've got to reach over the, the chuck to get it like a lot of guys have put that stuff on. Um, I don't like that. This is fine. Um, because I work from this position when I'm, when I'm using that so I've got no problem with the chuck there. Um, the only uh, thing we've got an issue with is our, is our uh, pedestal drill 
and I think it's going to work out okay. At the moment what I'll do is I'll move this table here, I'll move it across, we've got room, I'll move it across and I'll put the pedestal drill in here. Until I get the machine here anyway, there's plenty of room to bring this uh, um, bring this table forward and put the uh, the drill press in there for the present the present time. The only drawback always with um, having these radial cranes is that you can't run any any power uh, along the eaves and drop it down within that radius of that um, uh, of that unit. That's the only issue. Um, with with this this one here is less of an issue because. <coughs> It's a shorter run, uh, but yeah. So we'll uh, we'll continue on. Um, the bench is happy now in its corner, um, and this side, this area here, will we'll have a, a major revamp. So what I'm left with now is the mill and the lathe will both have to be levelled up. And by the way, it took me 15 minutes with uh, with my trusty pipes that have moved many, many, many machines before, and um, just by jacking, jacking the screws up, sliding a pipe underneath and, and then releasing the jack screw back and taking the pad out. Uh, that way I managed to, to lift the, the mill onto the pipes and roll it in any direction uh, just by, with a little bit of help from this small, um, uh, this small crowbar. So yeah, it's all good, no, no great effort, didn't even build up a sweat.